I regret all life choices up to this moment. What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm here with... <sighs> Battle Toads. Starring Rash, Zitz, and Pimple. Even though, you know, the story so far, one day, Pimple and Princess Angelica were out cruising. So 80s, it hurts. I think this came out in the 90s, though. When suddenly... Oh my god! Pimple and the princess were captured by the Dark Queen and taken to a nearby planet. Meanwhile, back on the spaceship Vulture at the Battletoads base... Hey, Toads! The Dark Queen's kidnapped Pimple and Angelica and she's hiding them in the... Gargantu... Gargantu... Whatever. Yeah, let's get them back! I got a craving for action! Take us to the Rumble, Coach! Oh, God. Not so fast, Battle Jerks. Before you even reach me, you'll have to beat Robomanus and someone else. Still fancy your chances? Come to me now if you dare. Ha 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 ha! All right, and that is our bare basic bones plot exposition of this. Although, much like a lot of older games at the time, uh, most of the story was actually told through the manual. So uh, let me crack open what I have here. And <clears throat> after her defeat by the Galactic Corporation at the Battle of Canis Major, the Dark Queen and her renegade space troops retreat to the outer reaches of the universe, hiding out in the dark spaces between the stars. Meanwhile, on board the spaceship Vulture, Professor T. Bird and the Battletoads, Rash, Zitz, and Pimple, are escorting the Princess Angelica back to her home planet, where her father, the Terran Emperor, awaits her safe arrival. Along the way, Pimple, the biggest Battletoad, takes Angelica out for a cruise in the Toadster to a nearby leisure station. Pimple and Angelica burn space, but the Dark Queen ambushes them before they can get there. Luckily, Pimple manages to send out a distress signal before the Toadster is gobbled up and carried away to Ragnarok's world, the Dark Queen's planet. So, there's the situation. Dark Queen's kidnapped the Princess Angelica and your best buddy Pimple. What are you going to do about it? You're going to get real mad. That's what you're going to do, and then you're going to get even. Professor Bird's gonna set you down on Ragnarok, but from there it's up to you. You've got a long way to go. Toad through ice and fire, and nightmares so terrible you won't even want to imagine them. Through a monstrous Gargantua, and ultimately to the Tower of Shadows, where the Dark Queen awaits you. Have you got the guts, Toad? We'll soon see, one way or another. I'm actually surprised at well how timed, timed out that was to, like, the actual other opening. But yes, Battletoads, as I'm pretty sure, its reputation sort of precedes it in this case. Battletoads is infamously, be, infamously known for being incredibly fucking hard. So fucking hard, in fact, that most people say to this day, Turbo Tunnel, the game's third level, is considered one of the hardest levels in the game. <laughs> Oh, it gets so much fucking worse from there. Oh, but yeah. Um, now, as per my usual quota when it comes to playing much older games, um, I have better things to do with my time than spend countless hours practicing something uh, so that I can beat a game in an hour or 30 minutes. So, as per usual, I will be instituting cheat codes and stuff to make the game better playable. But... Not only that, I'm also going to be doing a very rare case in this case. Now, while the game originally released, well, released in North American and European countries, Battletoads also released in Japan. Now, unlike the European and US version of the game, Japan actually decided, yeah, this is really too fucking much. How about we tone this down a bit? Japan actually lowered the difficulty for quite a few things, removed several obstacles, and made things a lot more fair. Although in context of this game, it'll still fucking kick you in the goddamn balls over and over again. 
made easier isn't really too much of a is kind of a misnomer when the game is still incredibly fucking hard but it's a lot easier than its north american counterpart it also along with the uh european version fixed a glitch that was present in one level that basically made playing two player completely impossible I mean, on top of the fact that playing two players is already fucking difficult considering if one character dies, both characters start back at a checkpoint. That's another problem with this game, and, while I, and why I will also be breaking another cardinal rule that I usually do. I don't like to save scum using save states. I don't think it's earned in that regard. Um, <clears throat> I would sooner die a thousand deaths with infinite lives than save scum using save states. But the problem with this game is, it uses a checkpoint system that... Oh, God. Oh. Sorry, my mustache hair was starting to bother the shit out of me. But it uses a checkpoint system that is super far in between from each other. Creating not this real distance of, can I do it, but, God, I have to do this shit all over again. So in that regard, I will be using save states mostly just to save time. Nobody wants to see me spend two hours on, say, Intruder Excluder fucking trying to climb the tower, only to fall and have to redo something for the 20th fucking time. This will also help for later parts, such as Rat Race and fucking, uh... God, especially goddamn Clinger Winger. Ugh. But yes, with that said, um, let's go ahead and switch this over to the uh, Japanese game. Battle Toads. Strange, I feel like I've seen this all before. But yes, this is the Japanese version, which will make things easier. That said, though, the story, or level in-betweens for it, are in Japanese as well. So, I'm gonna actually mitigate around that by showing the scenes from the English version, and putting those in, and reading those. Also, fun thing, uh, I know some people said they've had difficulty trying to get two-player to work in Battle Toads on the US version. Uh, Japan supplemented this all together by just adding a two-player option. I don't know why the others didn't. But yeah, it's fun to know. Get ready, Toads! Down the surface on the Turbo Climbers! Ragnarok's Cannon. Can- Canyon. God damn it. Take me home, country road, to the planet, gotta fuck up, West Virginia. There we go. Alright, so, like I said, I am using uh, Unlimited Lives, mostly so I can avoid having to replay this game more than I have to. I am also going to be taking advantage of the warps. There are several warps in the game that allow you to bypass the levels. And this is going to make this... Um, rather frustrating game a little bit easier on my part now i'm only going to be skipping two levels and that's uh what the fuck are they it's, uh, scroll, scroll scroll i have all the names listed down so i don't think the japanese puts them all in english uh let's see i have to do surfing i'm going to be skipping arctic caves and volkmeyer's inferno because that's where the warps are or uh, not the where the warps are but the warps are before those levels and despite that it says it's skipping two levels, it just means it's skipping the rest of the level that you're playing. But yeah, I'll be skipping through those and uh, just tackling the rest of the game. So if you want to see all levels and stuff like that, sorry to disappoint. But that said, let's move on now. Pretty simple stuff. You have a jump, you have punch, uh, you can run, you can pick up items. Uh, pretty simple stuff, I'm going to be honest. Nothing is really complicated about the game. It's just that actually getting through the game is fucking difficult. Now, so far, we're not really in a difficult section of it. The first two areas are pretty simple, all things considered. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, in fact, I think the reason people say Turbo Tunnel is as hard as it is is just because it's the first time you actually get to that difficulty spike. Also, these, fi these flies heal your health. But I didn't take any damage, so, you know, no worries there. But yeah, 
Uh, so pretty standard stuff right now. The first two levels, we're not going to see a lot of problems. In fact, I don't think we're going to actually see too many problems. Well, too many problems all together, maybe. Turbo Tunnel will probably give me a little bit of shit, but like I said, despite what everyone says, Turbo Tunnel's actually not as difficult as other parts. All right, and our first boss, the uh, Giant Walker, I think is what it's called. This honestly, like, uh, it, this actually is really funny because this reminds me of kind of like uh, the Shredder Technodrome battle from uh, Turtles in Time on the SNES. In that you have to, like, throw enemies and stuff at the screen. So basically, its last bullet shoots out, like, this ball thing you have to collect. And you have to avoid its gunfire, which I'm doing incredibly bad at. And throw them back at it. Life better be restocking at some point. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It takes a bit for the code to actually take effect. I don't know why. But yeah. Kind of reminds me of the Turtles in Time boss, even though this came before that. So, Hookbill, your frogs did well, but let's see how they do against my birds of prey. Pray the birds don't get them. Ahaha! <laughs> Sensors indicate that the chasm descends for about a mile. Watch out for booby traps! Wookie hole. Oh my. All right, the first of our vertical scrollers, even though this is vertical scrolling down. This would also spawn, like, quite a few other levels in multiple games and stuff like that. Interesting uh, tip that I'm pretty sure is common knowledge to people uh, right now, but it wasn't to me when I first played this game, is hugging the side of the wall to turn into this dumbbell to basically just insta-kill fucking anything. <laughs> Also, these birds are dicks. You're going to want to watch out for them. With their long beats that beaks, they can actually just snap your rope and kill you instantly. It actually really sucks. Whoop. There you go. I'm expecting another enemy to pop up at some point, but I don't know when he shows up. Oh, there he is. And I missed him. Great. Where'd he go there? There we go. Now he's dead. Yeah, like I said, first uh, first two levels, not much of a problem. Like, at all. No problem. At all. Ow. I mean, I may die, like, once or twice, but in the grand scheme of things, like, compared to what's to come, this, uh, this, is, this is the fun part of the game. I'll, and I'll let that sink in. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is the parts of the game that people actually get to see. So if you're good enough and not playing with infinite lives, you can actually just bounce those uh, birds. Like, uh, ow, fuck. You can just bounce those birds uh, all over the place and fucking uh, get a shit ton of lives from them. Because it's, uh, what is it? It's like every... Uh, let me do math, uh, cause I'm calculating, I'm trying to, I'm trying to count the zeros that are up above while also fighting birds. Uh, every 100,000 points you get an extra life. Damn. I'm really sad I didn't hit the other bird. There we go. None too bad. Try to get like ah oh, damn. Uh oh. I was gonna say try to get like a two for one deal on those things. But that was not the case at that point. Uh oh. Oh shit. Damn it. I always make a habit of out uh, like going straight into those by accident when I'm trying to go past them. Oh there we go. That's the end. Give up now before the mutant rat pack gets you, wardheads. You gotta be like Green Lightning if you're gonna make it through here, Toads. Turbo Tunnel. All right, the most inf the arguably most infamous part of this game, because it's where shit really started to hit the fan difficulty-wise for most people. Uh, having seen the rest of the game, 
<laughs> this is merely a taste of what is to come in the tur in the realm of pain. Oh yeah, I forgot I can also run. Oh, right, these motherfuckers. All right, these little space invaders motherfuckers will actually steal your health. And you have to actually, like, hit them back to get it back. Really annoying little bastards. Oh yeah, this highlights a part I don't like about combat in this game. You have to basically, like, execute them. Like, hit them with these power moves to finish them. But you can't, like, hit multiple people at once. It leaves you really open to attack. And the toads all have, like, these wind-up animations for their power attacks, for lack of a better word. Whoops. So pulling them off can sometimes be, uh, well, not really an annoyance, but it can be a pain in the ass when you've got more than one enemy. Also, yes, those pits just insta-kill you. You only have five lives to beat this game, and that's being generous. The US version and the European version only had three lives. Unless you used a cheat code. Huh. <sighs> On that note, I should also point out that is another difference. Uh, the US version and the European version actually gave you three lives, three continues. The Japanese version gives you five lives, five continues. You could start the game with five lives in the US and European version by entering a code at the main menu. But I don't count those. All right. It's time for actual turbo tunnel. It's time for my commentary to go to shit while I uh, focus on this. Although, admittedly, this, like I said, this actually isn't too hard. The Japanese version actually made, got rid of some of the walls to this, got rid of, like, some of the floating uh, ramps and stuff like that. And overall, just lowered down the speed of, like, the final section. So it's actually much more manageable. Yeah, nothing too bad so far, but we've also got, like, five races to go, so to speak. Five sections, I should say. There we go. On to section three. Uh, I was going to say, which part is this again? Honestly, this is kind of hurting my eyes just looking at it for long periods of time. So I'm like, okay, stay focused, stay focused. And then everything else is moving. All right, this is when these little rat fuckers start dropping down these uh, blocks. There we go. All right. Oh no, this is just the fourth race, I think. Yeah, this is just the fourth one. We're not to the final one yet. The final one's where the warp is, and I'll have to pay attention for that. Alright, this is this section. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Fifth section. Okay. One, two... There we go. Tenth one. 